and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Chiefs and the Silver and Black, and it's coming up next. Now, from the home of the Raiders, since 2020, we're inside the spectacular Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Good battle coming up here in the AFC West. So glad you're with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Part of this division has been the domain of the Kansas City Chiefs. They've won eight straight division titles, three Super Bowl wins during that stretch as well. And every year, you get here and you ask, who can knock off the Chiefs? Well, I think if you ask the other three teams in the AFC West, they would all say, okay, this is our year. But really, for a division where all three of those teams were sub-500 last year, now there's been some coaching changes, some new blood. But until you knock off the champ, they're still the champ. And right now, until further notice, this division continues to run through the Kansas City Chiefs. And barring something crazy, I don't expect that to change very much this year. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. Finding his tight end, there, And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. First carry of the game for Alexander Madison. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. He'll try and throw with Minshew. Oh, he gets that one complete to his tight end, Bowers. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I think it's so critical to start the game fast. I mean, you hear every coach and player harp on it in their press interviews and in their conferences. It's something that everybody stresses, but it's easier said than done. So I think for them to come out and face an early third down and be able to pick up a first and extend this possession, I think it goes a long way towards everybody on that sideline and in that huddle, just taking a deep breath. Open man, that's Trey Tucker. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. On the ground, here's Zamir White. And a nice game there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Man in motion here is Tucker. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Trying to get it to his tight end, Brock Bowers. And it's going to be third down. Based on the routes downfield, it looked like the protection was designed to give the quarterback a little bit more time to wait for things to uncover downfield. So give credit up front to the defensive line. Immediate pressure early speeds up the quarterbacks. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. 
pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time of day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. It hasn't affected anybody, and in this case, it results in a sack. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. This one from 54 yards out. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders will take a 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away but dangerous Miko Hardman on the return and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Chiefs come out with the face of the NFL Patrick Mahomes two-time regular season MVP three-time Super Bowl MVP just in his eighth year best in the business at the helm for KC, Greg. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. This is how you draw up your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. Gray is the motion man here. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. A throw on the move is caught. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup. And I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. First down throw, Mahomes to the outside catch made by Hopkins and that keeps him ahead of schedule that's a first down completion of seven yards here's a second and three forthcoming Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. He'll find his man, Nicole Hardman. Now they are in business inside the 15 yard line. On the move at the 14 yard line, it's first and 10. Throwing again, it's Mahomes. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. Gray is the motion man here. To the air once more. It's Mahomes. He's got his big tight end, Travis Kelsey. Touchdown, Chiefs. Greg, they have such a knack. It's like they're on the same page. The quarterback almost feels like 
Well, when you were playing, you know where that guy's going to be in the end zone. Yeah, we used to have a saying, Mike, we say we don't run routes like they're lines on a piece of paper, and especially against zone coverage. Down here in the red zone, the rule is if you're open, stay open. Don't run past an open zone to get covered. That's exactly what this tight end does here. Friendly target, ball on time, touchdown. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. To return, Tyreek McAllister. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Raiders' offense ready to get going with their second possession. They trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. In motion is Myers. The drive starts with a run by Madison. And a pickup of three, or maybe four. Chris Jones, the all-pro, there on the tackle. Here's a second and six. They'll stick with Madison. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. On third down, it's White. On fourth down, last year's all-pro punter, A.J. Cole, on now for the Raiders. We call Hardman the return man for the Chiefs. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Chiefs offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. On the ground, this is Hunt. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a run with Hunt. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Nate Hobbs in from his corner spot to make the stop. Third down, three to go. Throwing from the gun, here's Patrick. He's got his tight end, it's Kelsey. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, 
you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. Now, a carry for Hunt. He'll work his way forward for about three yards. Divine Diablo there to make the play. They face second down and seven. Gray is the motion man here. Mahomes now to throw on second down. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. Hits the Chiefs on top. And we're back in Vegas after this. Third and a yard. Try to pick this one up on the ground. And he's going to have the first down. They'll mark him at the 29, but it's a new set of downs. First down picked up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. To throw is Mahomes. Got his man at the six. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play call. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Here's a run. He is in. Touchdown, KC. Butker now for the point after. He's got it. And the Chiefs extend their advantage to 14 to 3. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Here's McAllister to return. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They trail now 14-3, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They'll start this on the ground. And here's White. And that'll go for a gain of about four. Brian Cook up from his safety spot to make the tackle. Another run here with White. And he's going to weave his way forward 
It's a first down at the 44-yard line. On first down, right back to White. He's beyond midfield to the 45. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. The best offensive play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under-center run game, like we just saw here, with their under-center play action game. And the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll go again with White. And he does not want to go down. Somehow he turned that into a gain of six. Had ourselves a bit of a one-man wrecking crew out there for a minute, huh, Mike? I mean, dishing out punishment to every defender in his way. I'll tell you, the next guy who comes in one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to have that run in the back of his mind. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. He gets this one to Tucker. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Man in motion here is Tucker. On first and ten, it's Minshew. He keeps it himself. A first down on the scramble. A gain of 16. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. They run with White, and he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. On second down, a run with White. And this defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. From the gun, here's Minshew. He pulls it in around the five. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Raiders cut the lead to four. It's 10 to 6. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. Back out is Carlson following the made field goal. And he sends this kickoff away. A return now from the four. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense. And they're running back. Set to go once more. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. 
Got his receiver on the end cut. He's got it. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Mahomes now on second down. That's to the rookie first-round pick, Xavier Worthy. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you could see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Off he goes. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards, and most importantly, a first down. When you're game planning during the week for a mobile quarterback like this, on every down, you have to have somebody to account for him. You can see why here. He's able to escape the pocket, turn into a runner, and he can take every play and make it a big play. They put Kelsey in motion. On first down, it's Mahomes. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. A tick under two minutes until halftime. We'll return to Las Vegas after this. They put Kelsey in motion. On second down, Mahomes. To the end zone, it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Merritt. And the Raiders will take over here at their own 12. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. Well, Raiders offense, and they're running back Zamir White heading onto the field. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. Now Minshew, and he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. 17 yards on that connection. Good for a Raider first down. And you see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean, two-time Mackey Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time young breakout rookie tight end. To throw once more, here's Minshew. He's got the tight end there. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line.
first and ten. Throwing again is Minshew. That's to the right side and incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Finding his tight end there. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. Second and seven. To the air once more is Minshew. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Now, timeout Vegas. That is their second. And the stoppage comes with 23 seconds left on the first half clock. In motion is Myers. Minshew going to look to throw again. Pressure gets there. And down he goes. Feels like they needed that sack. This entire drive, it feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. On now, Daniel Carlson to try the field goal. This a 46-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Raiders are back within five. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. Set to go now on first and ten. Patrick to throw. He's going to let this one go for Worthy. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end.
Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Chiefs offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. Now, Mahomes. That's into the hands of Worthy. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. Now he takes off. Nothing open here downfield. I think it's a good job just getting to the edge, getting something positive, getting out of bounds. Now a third and two. I'm trying to get this one on the ground. On fourth down, on is the Chiefs' new punter for 2024, Matt Ariza. Back deep, Tyreek McAllister. And he'll be brought down. Short return, and they'll take over there. The Raiders' offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here, and they'll begin it with first and ten. They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. And he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On the ground, this is White. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Well, that right there, Mike, is your once-a-game reminder of just the importance of shore tackling. This run never gets anywhere near where it ends up if that initial hit was stronger and he was able to take him down. They'll come up here first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He's going to keep it himself. What a good choice to get out and run. That's a pickup of 18 and a first down. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, 
but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great gain, and ultimately a first down. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Here's Minshew. And that time, the pressure too much. He'll go down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. A give, and here's White. He's got space inside the 25. That's how to dig yourself out of a hole. A pickup of 18, much more manageable. Third and two coming up. And with that run, this back is closing in on almost 100 yards for the game today, Mike. He's had a lot of those good chunk plays. This defense has not had a great answer for him so far. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he won't quite make it to the pylon, but he's out of bounds right around the one-yard line. That is a gain of 20. And what a chance now. First and goal coming up. This is a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies, but he is going to come up short. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. To throw Minshew. Oh, he feels the pressure, and he'll go down back at the six. At one point, it felt like a touchdown was almost inevitable, but now after two back-to-back -back wins by this defense, all of a sudden it seems like the defense is in control, and this drive's in danger of stalling out. From back at the six-yard line, what can they do on third and goal? They look to throw it with Minshew. This is caught toward the side of the end zone. Alexander Madison, touchdown Vegas. It felt like they needed a touchdown. Greg, in the worst way, after getting those early field goals to find the end zone, Big boost for this offense. And it felt like they really needed it, as you said, Mike, to come away with three previous drives ending in field goals and not being able to cross it over the goal line for six. It starts to wear on you as an offense. You start And before the try, remember, it is a touchdown. All scoring plays are reviewed. So replay will confirm this one before we do anything else. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Minshew leading everybody to the line. Two-point conversion try coming up. They'll run out of the gun. This is White, and I don't think he got there. He did not. They mark him short. The try for two, unsuccessful.
Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. So here comes the KC offense set to take over once more. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. That one is complete to Hartman. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. On the ground, this is Hunt. Finding room across midfield. And he's going to be running out of bounds, but not until he gets down to the 40-yard line. A gain there of 24 yards. Good for a Chiefs first down. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. Here's a run with Hunt. Good running inside the 25. He is having his way. Another big game. This time 18 yards and a first down. Well, here he is just taking over this drive from the running back spot. And frankly, Mike, any time the secondary and defensive backs are making a lot of tackles downfield, you know the offensive line's doing their job up front. And we can see the results. On first and ten, it's Mahomes. They'll come up now for second down and four. They put Kelsey in motion into traffic but taken in this drive's going to continue they bring him down but not before he picks up first and goal for his team i love this concept here really good job by the other receivers clearing out that space big tight end comes down with the catch and it's going to bring up first and goal they put kelsey in motion First down throw, Mahomes, he's got it at the three. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks. That is caught side of the end zone. Nicole Hardman. Touchdown, Kansas City. So when you find yourself this tight to the goal line, Mike, the offense becomes a lot more restricted in as far as how deep you can throw the ball. The field is wider than it is long, and I think the idea here is let's spread them out. Let's put all of our eligibles out there and let the quarterback get a really good picture where are the holes in the coverage where are the one-on-one -on -one matchups that I like? And let's put this ball in the quarterback's hand. Let him make a good decision. And in this case, it results in a touchdown. Here's the Chiefs and Mahomes lining up to add on two more.
And he's going to run out of time. They get to him. And ball in the air, which I don't mind on this two-point try, but the execution was just a little bit off, and it's not going to work out in their favor this time around. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Abdullah now to return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Raiders offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. The drive begins with a run by White. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Derek Noddy there to bring him down. Second down and eight. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. That's going to be incomplete, and the clock will stop. Likely one more play in this third quarter. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. And he's going to be brought down here on uh, what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. run here oh, oh. and a good job following his blockers a gain of seven it'll be second down from the gun here's Minshew he gets this one to Tucker. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. They'll stick to the ground. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Minshew. down yet again he has been under fire all game long if they win this game this pass rush is going to be a big reason why the five sacks speak for itself but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense that can't be overstated they need one right now third and long 
Play action now. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. So after surrendering their sixth sack of the game, I looked down on the sideline, Mike, and found their offensive line coach. He grabbed his headset, removed it, and he slammed it on the ground. And truthfully, I don't blame him. His unit has been getting worked up front all day in pass protection. So big kick coming now for Daniel Carlson. This to get back within a field goal. This one has plenty of leg. And it is good. And they inch a bit closer here in this fourth quarter. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So the lead is down to just two now in the fourth quarter as they kick it off. This one taken at the seven. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Patrick Mahomes going to lead the KC offense back out for this next drive. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. That's taken in by Kareem Hunt. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Hopkins sent in motion. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. Right back to the air for Mahomes. Look in the middle, he's got Kelsey. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conserved. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. They put Kelsey in motion. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. Right back to Kelsey again. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game 
Now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Mahomes now to throw again to the outside. Catch made by Hopkins. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's a second and nine. Now, a carry for Hunt. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. They'll stay on the ground. Again, he finds an opening. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chiefs. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, that's the way to handle it. Up one, go down the field, get the touchdown, and extend the lead to seven. Mike, the key for this offense is they were at their best when their best was needed, being able to extend this lead late in the fourth quarter, they've got to be feeling pretty good about where things stand to close this game out. The extra point by Butker is good. And the Chiefs will make it a two-score game as they are now up nine. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Abdullah now to return. He's to midfield. Inside the 20. And he's going to take this all the way back. 93 yards. Touchdown, Vegas. You talk about a response after the offense goes down the field and gets a touchdown. The special teams unit comes back to get the six right back for the other side. And I've been there, Mike. You find yourself on offense. You watch your opponent go down and get a touchdown. And you're saying amongst each other, you're saying, hey, we're going to get the ball back. Let's go get one of our own. But in this case, the return unit says, no, no, offense, you stay on the sideline. We got this. And they go back and get a score of their own. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders will cut it to a two-point lead. So the lead is down to just two now in the fourth quarter as they kick it off. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Chiefs offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. A couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far.
Mahomes on first down. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Here's a second and six. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Third down, three to go. Now, Mahomes. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. Mahomes to his Super Bowl winning target Hardman for the KC first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock. But the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. give up the middle the hole closes quickly he'll pick up about three they face second down and seven They'll stick with him again. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. Pick this one up on the ground. Now the Raiders going to use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to a knee. yard pick up there and the Chiefs have a first down and this is the point of the game Mike where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out you've got the lead you're in the fourth quarter and they're able to pop off a big run victory formation here as he's down to a knee
So it's a win for the visiting Chiefs. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.